Hello. Today we are looking at how to install WPS Office 2019 on a Chromebook. In this tutorial, we will show you how to change some Chrome OS settings for Linux apps which will improve your experience with WPS Office. Then we will install WPS Office and open it. After that we will create a document, save it, and so how to open it. Lastly, if English is not your preferred language then we will show you how to change the language interface of WPS Office. Please take note that this will only work on Chromebooks with an Intel or AMD processor. Firstly, we will go through these three pages to change some settings in Chrome OS. These pages are in the video description. Disable a highlighted section at the top of this page, otherwise, WPS won't display correctly. Enable the highlighted sections on the top of the other pages, this will fix mouse pointer issues in WPS Office. Reboot your Chromebook. Now we will enable Linux apps on our device. To do this we will go to our system settings, and click on the Linux icon on the left panel. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will continue to the next step, which is to run one command in a terminal. The command is in the video description. Now we will copy the command and paste it into a terminal session. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift and V together. This command will update the software sources of the Linux apps. This command should run automatically as soon as you paste it into a terminal session. Now we will download the WPS Office Dev installer from the official website. Now we will open the installation package in the file manager. Right click on the package and install it with Linux apps. Unfortunately, our screen recorder crashed during this part of the process, so we will see you in a couple of seconds. As you can see WPS is now installed. Let us launch it. Disable this error message, it is for a font which you do not need. Now we will create a document, save it, and open it again via our file manager.
you will notice a Chinese folder with WPS templates, you can keep it or remove it. If English is your preferred language, then this tutorial is finished now. Now we will show you how to change the language interface. Go to this website, where you can download the language packs which was created by the Linux community. Now we will open the package in the file manager. Move it to the Linux folder. Now we have to modify the last two commands by putting the name of your language pack in four places. Let us do it now. Now we will go back to the Linux terminal and run the next command. This command will install a package which we will use to extract the language pack. Press enter to confirm the installation. Now we will extract the package. Now we will move the extracted package to the correct location. Now we will launch WPS Office and change the language interface. Click on the book icon in the top right corner. Choose your language pack. Restart WPS. Enjoy WPS 2019.